Hi everybody, it's Mercy and I'm back again with another video. This one is to show you some stuff that I picked up on Tuesday morning. I've been watching that a whole mess of people have been buying Spellbinder buys, dies there. So I figured I would go out and try to see if they had any. So I picked up the ones that I saw there. The first one that I got is 3D Christmas Tree and it was for $6.99. And it's a beautiful die. I haven't decided what my Christmas cards are going to look like yet. But I was thinking either this one with the Christmas tree or this wreath. Um, this one is the Builder Wreath and this one was only $5.99. So I think it's pretty good. And the size of the wreath itself is pretty big it's for the Christmas card. And then a few years back at Michael's, they had um, these ornaments, this one and this one, for like a couple of dollars. And I tried finding them, but I didn't have any luck. So luckily I was able to find them at Tuesday morning, $5.99 each. I thought that was a good deal. And this is what they look like in the back. And then the last one is this holiday tree. And this is what it looks like in the back. I think it's very, very pretty. And it's similar to the first one. And then um, somebody on Facebook was looking for a particular die. One of those, I think it's like one of those Darice um, dies, the one with the snowflake on it. So I had seen it at mine, but I did not pick it up. So I went back over there to try to find it for her. But when I got back, they were gone. Um, so instead, I ended up looking at other stuff and I got this, um, the Pirate Chipboard Accents. And it has two pages in it. I was only able to find one of them, and I wish I had found the other one because the boy's third birthday was pirate-themed, and this would be great for the pages. And then while I was there, I saw that they had a whole mess of Graphic 45 papers, and this time around they had the Mother Goose collection. And even though it is little kid-ish, I love the colors of Graphic 45, and I normally don't ever buy them, but I said, you know what, I'm just going to go out and get them. And this brings six of these chipboard packs, and they're all exactly the same, and they were $6.99. So I was able to find that, and I took the plastic off, but here is the number in case you are trying to find it. Because when you go to Tuesday morning, you can try to find it by that number. So I have, I picked up those. Then I also picked up the papers, and I was only able to pick up 10 of the 12 papers that come in the line, but I'll try to see if I can go. The next closest Tuesday morning to me is about two hours away, so I'll have to see if I can take a ride up there. So this is one of the papers, and this one is called Nursery Rhymes, and I'm sure that you guys have seen this paper because it's been out for a while, but I think it's beautiful, and normally I don't ever buy these. But I was like, you know what, forget it. Because last time, like, I had wanted to buy, um, I think it was the Wizard of Oz one. I'm dying to get the Wizard of Oz one. Because that one, my husband's favorite movie is Wizard of Oz. And I didn't pick it up last time. And I kick myself all the time for not picking it up. And then the other one was the circus one. That one I'm dying to get as well. Because the boys, I, we took them to the circus. And I took like two or three hundred dollars, two or three hundred pictures, and I never picked up the paperback for me to make an album of the time that we took them to the circus. And graphic forty-five papers are always so beautiful, but um, I just haven't picked them up. I think the last one that I got that I wanted was also Happy Hauntings, but I didn't pick that one up either. I've tried to be a good girl for as long as possible, but now I'm kicking myself. I should have just bought the papers and been done with it. Because now, to try to find those papers is very difficult. And then the fact that I have to make two books, so I need at least four pages of each, um, of each one of the papers. And then in these packs, you would have the four pages, plus you would need, I also have it for the back part, and I also have some for photo frames. So I could use a lot of this paper up to make one book. So this one is the one where you can cut it apart, and it has all these different ones, and hopefully you guys saw the number. And then in the back is this one. So, and this one is cut apart on the front, 
and the back. And then and then the back. And here's where it has the number for that one. And I'm sure by now, like a million people have already shown these, but I figured I would show it just in case. And then the last one that I have is this one on this side. And on the other side, it has just that. And here's the number. So I'm only actually missing two of the pages from this paper line. And that's the one where it has the big, huge pic picture on one side. And then something else on the back. And the other one is like a blue paper. And it has like a cream colored something on the back. So those are the two that I'm missing. I'll try to see if I can go off to that Tuesday morning one day and try to see if I can find the other ones, but for now, oh well. Um, so anyway, just wanted to go ahead and show you guys my Tuesday morning haul. Um, I've been trying to be a good girl, but sometimes that makes me kick myself by not getting stuff that I really wish that I would have bought. So I saw that the majority of these papers were there and I said, you know what, just go ahead and get it because then you're going to be regret regretting that you didn't get them last time, like last time. So anyway, that's all the stuff that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun. Bye.